Hello YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> I'm back. I've been uh, gone for about three, four months. I haven't posted a, any, posted anything. Been, had a rough go at times. You can see by the back of my tank. Uh, my uh, main drain flooded downstairs here in this room and my bathroom next to it. And so I had water everywhere and I don't didn't have a shop back so I spent three hours with a mop cleaning all the water up. And uh, while I was waiting for the plumber to show up to figure out where to unclog that drain, uh, two days later my kid comes down and he goes, hey, Dad, we got another flood. And I you know, thought somebody flushed the toilet or something. Came down here and my this room was completely flooded. Uh, I looked over here at this tank and the tank was fine, uh, but I had a 55 gallon and it was about half empty so I went to my sump to check it out and it was empty so it was a short swim to my fish tank and uh, I went to unplug everything and you can see I have this one set up on a wall my other six-way adapter was just on top of a bucket I wanted to keep it off the floor in case of floods like this so everything would be safe so I swam over there and went to unplug the sump and got a nice little zap didn't realize that it was wet and my tank sprung a leak and the leak was going right onto my six-way adapter so much for keeping it off the floor and keeping it dry and uh, since I was at 7 30 in the morning it was uh, a nice little wake-up call so much better than coffee you know I didn't skip my cup of coffee that morning oh, 10 volts going through you kind of wakes you up so uh had to break that tank down and then three days later while i was at work this tank loses its siphon and floods over the back and as you can see from the back it peeled off some of the paint this was an old tank i had it in storage for a while and it, it was kind of chipping in the back but it made a really cool design so I kind of left it there and now with it draining over the top of it it just peeled a lot of the tape back so now this is my this is my holding tank for now uh, I got I'm obviously keeping it going but I am working on some other projects uh, I'll be showing you these in this video I'll uh, show you what I'm working on uh, but the two clowns that I got and the Coral Beauty, those were in a 120 gallon tank that I just purchased. It was up and running and got it for a great price. I was moving to Florida. So, but their tank was super dirty, hadn't been cleaned in the, over a year, hadn't had a water change done in a year. It had big, thick carpets of moss on it. Uh, you couldn't even, you couldn't even see the fish. So I cleaning up that I'm gonna get that going once I got it going these these guys will go back into that tank and I'll probably just make this one into like a nursery tank I'll move the rocks and corals into my new tank um, so my 55 is not running at the moment obviously uh, I did reseal it and it holds water I just need to uh, build a stand for it and I'll get that going but that's that's on the back burner. I bought a 125 that I was working on trying to clean up. Uh, there's a lot of calcium deposits, water stains on it. I've not been able to get it off. I know it won't sh show through that much when it's filled with water, but I, did, I didn't like the way it looked. So I ended up buying this 120 that I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Uh, so now I'm going to have a 125 and a 120 set up eventually I just got finished building the stands for both of them I'll show you those here in a minute and yeah I'm gonna hopefully get those running uh, one I'm gonna do a probably do it yourself sump and uh, on the 125 I'm thinking about making it a fish only tank uh, the 120 I'm definitely gonna turn into a reef tank uh, if you see by my sump I have some rock in there Karen that I got with the tank, but the tank was so dirty. I, you know, I, I, I put those rocks out in the sun for over a week, let them dry out, cleaned them up real good. Now I'm trying to reculture them. 
Uh, I didn't want to start anything. The rocks were, that whole tank was pretty bad. But uh, I'll show you, show you what I got here in a minute. All right, so here's that 120. Um, yeah, remember I said something about not having a shop vac. Well, after the 55 leaked all over the place, I went to Home Depot and got myself a, a shop vac. I wasn't about ready to spend another three or four hours mopping. So there's the there's the 120. You can see the lines on it. This side's the worst. I think this was up against the wall or something. But I have tried everything to get those off. Uh, white vinegar, razor blades, 1500 grit sandpaper, CLR. I've tried everything and I haven't even made a dent. It looks exactly like it did when I got it. So I pretty much give up on that. But I built the stand for it, got it next to it. And I was in the process of doing that when I found the 120. Um, and it's a it's in much better shape, even though it was really, really dirty. Let me just give you an example of what the inside of the tank looked like. Here is, he had a couple of pumps in there. I mean, that's not too bad. Here's, hang on the back, a uh, protein skimmer. A lot of the, a lot of the equipment I've already cleaned, cleaned up. Got it going. It came with a, Came with that light, need a new bulb. But some some of the stuff was was really bad. I, I I didn't take any pictures of it. I really should have took pictures and video. But it was pretty bad. So then I made the stand. I'm gonna I got wood here. I'm in the process of making a canopy for the 120 that I have downstairs. And I'll be setting up that Mars Aqua. I need to buy one more. And this is, oh yeah, here's my, I have my 55 sitting over here. Got that all resealed. And like I said, it, uh, it holds water. I just need to make a stand and get that set up somewhere. Uh, a bunch of chemicals and stuff that came with, came with that tank, you can see. I mean, he hadn't touched anything in forever. But it was a pretty good deal. I mean, everything that's here, magnesium testers and all kinds of stuff. It's just super dirty. You got to clean through all of it, check expiration dates, see what, see what's actually here. Do a nice little power cord. All right, so uh, I'll show you my 120. Okay, so I'm in the process of a couple of big builds. Um, I picked up this 120. I uh, got it for a real good price. It was uh, it was still up and running. There was uh, about 100 pounds, 120 pounds, maybe even 150 pounds of uh, rock in there. There was a, a few fish and some other stuff, but I picked that up for a good price. So I've uh, threw together a quick stand and uh, even shot a round of golf. I must have fell back there uh, in the process. Uh, I came with, like I said, it came with a bunch of cultured rocks. So I've kind of got a couple of makeshift things going on. Um, that hang on the back refuge room was on this this tank. So I threw most of the rocks in there. I, I let them dry out. The tank was pretty bad. He hadn't cleaned it in over a year. Um, so I let all these rocks dry out in the sun for over a week. And then I rinsed them off really good. And I've been throwing them every place I could fine uh, I got a bunch in there and I got that full of rocks which I had about 60 pounds of dry rock that I had purchased a couple of months ago and I had it in here curing so I threw the rest of the rocks in here I uh, pretty much got them split up all over the house uh, so I am waiting on my sump to arrive and live sand and I'll be putting this together here real soon. Um, I'll continue to show you and storing up some salt water. I got buckets everywhere. I get those buckets from work and I'm just making salt water every day. I'm gonna set this tank up all at once. 
Yeah, I'll show you what else is going on. All right, so the box has arrived to my trigger sump. And some boxes of live sand. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, my next video will be the unboxing of this trigger sump. So uh, please like and subscribe if you like what's going on. And I will do the unboxing next. And then after that will be the complete setup of this 120. But, uh, thanks for watching.